I'm Georgie from Waterbear. Let's talk about how you can create the ultimate band logo. What makes a great band logo is a topic that is discussed time and time again in music marketing meetings. Is it that the font is eye-catching? Is it a great concept? Or maybe is it effective at truly representing the band or artist in question? There are loads of expertly designed band logos out there by leading illustrators. But what is good news for you is some of the most successful and memorable logos are the ones that are simple, and to the point. When you're coming up with an idea for a logo, you need to think about how you come across. So anything that you put out there is gonna be a visual extension of your identity. So let's have a look at some examples of some great band logos which have stood the test of time. Of course, starting off with the Rolling Stone Hot Lips image, probably the most famous music logo ever. So this logo was originally designed in 1969. It was to conjure up the idea of the Hindu goddess Kali and they took inspiration from Mick Jagger, his mouth and his charisma and that's how they came up with the image that we know today. It is an iconic symbol which is so effective and so memorable, as soon as you see it you know exactly who it's associated to without even having to put their name next to it. Another great logo is from 80s hardcore punk band Black Flag. It is super simple, it is four black bars in between the font and it is to represent the four members of the band but also the movement of a flag. It was actually someone's brother who designed it from the band. He was not an artist, he just knew the band, he knew what they're about and just drew something down that's super simple and it's stuck and it's effective. It's a powerful image that put the band firmly on the map and the image has been copied, parodied, homaged in popular culture from then on. In fact, we love band logos so much here at Waterbear that we have taken our Waterbear name and put it in the style of different bands. So see if you can identify which band's logos these are from. So, where do you start when creating the ultimate band logo? Well, follow these five tips and you'll be on your way. Tip number one, imagery. Start off by thinking about the logos and the type of imagery that you like. Ones that catch your eye or speak to you or kind of represents what you're about. Once you've compiled those images, you wanna create a kind of mood board. And when you put it all together, you want your image as an artist to be looking back at you. Now, Pinterest is really helpful with this. It helps you create these mood boards. You can move stuff around and just see what works. Tip number two, fonts. Similar to imagery, with fonts you want to be gathering inspiration. You want to be looking at different sources to see which one kind of speaks to you. You could look at other bands, you could look at advertising campaigns, you could look at film posters. Uh, Google Fonts can be really good for this. You can just type in your band name or artist name, have a flick through the fonts and see which one stands out and comes to life. Tip number three, keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate your logo. Ideally, it would be blown up in a huge image, 30 feet high behind you on the pyramid stage. So it needs to work there, but it also needs to work scaled down on a smartphone or on a tablet. So when you're designing, keep this in mind. Tip number four, experiment with software. Once you have decided on your image and your font, you've drawn it out, you're happy with it, this is when you want to experiment with the graphic design software that you are going to be using. Now, things like Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop are brilliant, but they can be a little bit pricey. So here are some great free options. Tip number five, get some feedback. Chances are, by this point, you have reached as far as your skills will allow. So this is when you want to get a graphic designer or an illustrator to put those final touches on your logo. You have put most of the hard graft in by this point, so this should save you some time and money. 
So those are five useful tips on how to create the ultimate band logo. Now, don't be daunted at this stage that you have to get it perfect the first time. It doesn't have to be set in stone. You can play around with it a bit and chances are it will take a few changes to get it right and it can also evolve along with your music. For more tips like these, make sure you like and subscribe on all of our Waterbed platforms. If you head on over to our website, there's more free stuff on there, helpful blogs and loads more information about our courses and tutors here at Waterbear.